Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new here. My name is Evan, and on the channel we react to mostly pop music and social media stuff. Um, yeah, and today we have a brand new drop again from Halsey. This is the third time I'm ever reacting to a single of hers on the channel from this new album. So the only one I missed was The End. So otherwise we've listened to Lucky and we've listened to Lonely is the Muse. Both will be linked down below. They're in the same playlist as this one if you're in the playlist. Loved Lonely is the Muse. So I love seeing that rock side of Halsey coming back. Lucky, amazing song. But that's enough about those. Today we're gonna to be reacting to Ego, which is the fourth single off of her new album, The Great Impersonator, which she just released all of the vinyl variants and the actual cover for. And guys, I cannot explain to you how excited I am for this album to come out. I am ready to see what Halsey has to bring to the table. Based off what I've seen of the four variants, it's, kind of well so she gave us the 70s 80s 90s and 2000s variants um in gold red teal and pink and my favorite is the 90s well yeah the 90s the 2000s is a close second i love all four of them don't get me wrong but the 90s is probably my favorite but yeah guys that's enough jibber jabber for me before we get into it, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button down below, as well as turn on the post notifications. The comment section, let me know what your favorite Halsey song is or what your favorite Halsey album is, what your favorite of these four singles has been. Just let me know anything Halsey related. Love. Also, you can let me know what you want me to listen to next. And if you guys are those that like the uncut, unedited version of the videos, I do upload those early onto my Patreon. It'll also be linked down below as well as my AOTY, which is where I will be doing my review of the album when it does come out, as well as other albums that I react to here on the channel and those that haven't made it to the channel yet. But yeah, guys, like I said before, that's enough jibber jabber for me. Let's get straight into this. So this is Ego by Halsey. It comes in at three minutes and 18 seconds. Okay, pause it before we go straight into the chorus again. This is a lot. And like I said with Lonely is the Muse, I am so happy that we're getting some raw Halsey again. Um, this one, so I have heard a couple of the snippets off TikTok, so that's why I kind of know the chorus, like that I can't keep my feet on the ground. I loved the little snippets that I wasn't able to escape on social media. Um, I tried to avoid them as much as possible because I knew I wanted to react to them here on the channel. Been a few months since I crossed over state lines, talked to my mom, talked to my mom faking smiles over FaceTime, drink all night till I can't walk a straight line feel so low but I'm high at the same time so it definitely seems like we're getting a little bit of bad coping mechanisms here um I'm in no way whatsoever a therapist or anything but it that's just the way it comes across to me and I think that I should try to kill my ego because if I don't my ego might kill me that's a big line right there um ego will destroy you and that's one thing i've learned over like as i've been getting older is like your ego can be a blessing and a curse it's all about how you use it how you treat it like your ego is really important 
I don't know if you guys like me kind of pausing in the song and going over it. I know a lot of people in like reaction channels I watch don't like that. If not, I'll keep my thoughts to the end. I'll keep it to a minimum. I'll comment as I can throughout while the song's still playing. But uh, we're about halfway done. We're going to keep going. I'll pause it before she goes into this line again because I wanted to comment. I'm all grown up, but somehow lately I'm acting like a f baby. I'm not really as happy as I seem. Nothing is as it seems. And yeah, nothing is as it seems. Life really isn't as it seems. And that's what I've learned going through it. I mean, I'm obviously not, I'm younger than Halsey and I'm younger than a lot of people, but life, life will switch up on you before you know it. So that's what I've learned. But we're, let's just keep going and we'll get into the <laughs> the next part. guys okay so let me go back because i slip up when i should have played pretend turn 18 and i left the city i said i want to be cool i don't want to be pretty the voices all came crashing down and you said and said you're too nice to run this town so i don't live in california i live on the east coast and so i don't know what it's like but this is what i assume is like when you come into the scene moving over across i don't know where halsey's from either um i love halsey so much i just don't really know where she's from but i feel like this is kind of talking about when you go from not being a nobody but being somebody from somewhere else kind of moving to la or california or the west coast where big stars are quote unquote and she's getting told like you're you're too nice to run this town like you turned 18 and you left the city that you're born in and you want to be cool not you don't care about being pretty you want to be cool and your peers kind of fuck with you a little bit and then i also noticed so she says a rooftop lower east side i'm singing don't give a fuck if i was winning it's all done now so who am i kidding i'm doing way worse than i'm admitting so I've kind of picked up on East Side. I don't know if that's a reference to East Side with her song, but I do kind of like how she says, like, I want to go back to the beginning when it all felt right. A rooftop lower East Side, I'm singing. Like she's having fun doing her career because it's fun, not because it's a paycheck. And I really relate to that a lot, doing things that make me happy and are fun and not doing them because they make me money. Not really caring if you're winning and kind of just wanting to literally just have fun. Um, that's such a big thing and it's something that I know everybody struggles with. And then her saying, I'm all grown up, but somehow lately I'm acting like a fucking baby. Guys, this song is top tier. This might be my favorite single off the album. I'm not even gonna lie. So I love Lonely as the Muse. It would definitely probably be number two. Lucky is easily right there with it. So they're kind of tied for two and three. Ego is definitely number one. I kind of grew up listening to Halsey and kind of alt rockish pop alternative, you know, I already said alt, but you get the point. Um, and to see her kind of returning to that 
and kind of going into her rock side sound is is just so nice. I just feel like every time Halsey releases a new album, we get a little bit more of her and we get to know a little bit more and it just feels so nice to appreciate and love an artist and get to see them kind of open up the door a little bit and give you a little bit more and a little bit more. I don't think people give Halsey the lyricism credit that she deserves. And that's where I'm gonna end that little five minute rant right here, or however long it ends up being for y'all. It was like five minutes for me, but. We interrupt this program for an important news announcement. Guys, sorry to have to cut in here. Um, I literally just finished the video and hit the stop recording button and I was like, there is a music video for this and I want to include it because I did include the Lucky music video. Um, there was not one for Lonely is the Muse and I do not believe there was one for the end. I didn't react to the other one's channel anyways. But uh, there is an Ego music video and we're going to do it right now. Here is the Ego music video from Halsey. Is this what the Instagram post was about? It looked like she was in a suit and tie or like a dress shirt and a tie and she had blood on her. We'll, get, we'll see. so hot as a female assassin. Yes, I'm a simp. I'm just saying. <laughs> Love her. Also just now realizing that she's literally fighting with her ego. Anyways. A little kid that can't make friends Wanna be invited but I won't attend I've been having bad days My career could end Because I slipped up And I should've played the tennis Turned 18 and I left the city I said I wanna be cool I don't wanna be pretty Voices all came crashing down And said you're too right Did her and Sabrina get together About this whole Using the, the knives and the weapons and stuff Cause Taste music video Like literally last week That was, wow, unique. Um, the editing was great, guys. I really liked that. Like I said, we kind of got like part of, I got confused at first. I was like, oh, okay. So she's like on a dinner date with herself. And then it clicked in like, oh, that's her ego. And then they started pulling out the guns and cleaning their teeth and the knife and the katana. Um, 
And I was like, oh, okay. So this is kind of taking a similar route to Sabrina's taste video, which I really enjoyed. Um, but this is definitely a little bit more, I don't want to say darker, but it definitely, the context matter is a little bit darker and yeah, it feels like an action video, like a action movie. Like it doesn't feel like a music video. So this came out six hours ago now and it has almost 150,000 views, which is pretty decent. Um, I, uh, better than anything I could do, but- Thank you, Catherine Obvious. <laughs> Anyways, um, I definitely really enjoyed it. The music video was great. I think it really added to the song what Halsey was already giving us. But anyways, guys, um, I'm gonna go ahead and let past, my past self take over here and talk to you guys about the song a little bit more. But yeah. Um, final thoughts on Ego. I think it's amazing. I think it's my favorite single from this album, from this era so far. Um, I cannot wait for this album to come out. Let me know what variant y'all would get out of the four. I'll put, I'll try to put four of them up here or like one after another over here or something in case you guys haven't seen them. But let me know which variant you guys want to pick up. If you guys collect vinyls or if you did collect vinyls, which one you would pick up? Cause I definitely think I'm going to get the nineties. I kind of want to get the two thousands too, but we'll see. I don't want to go crazy. But anyways, guys, if you guys enjoyed, which I hope you did, please consider going down there and hitting the subscribe button, the like button, the no turn on the notification bell and leaving a comment. And if you guys just I feel ever so generous, my link to my Patreon is also down below. You guys can see this video early, uncut and unedited. So yeah, it's a fun time and I try to make it worthwhile. I kind of want to start doing some custom content there, like videos that don't quite make it to YouTube or at least don't make it to YouTube until I have time to put them on YouTube. Cause I feel like right now, especially there's a lot of new music coming out and I kind of want to get it out first. But I definitely want to start doing some album reactions and stuff, which will definitely go on the Patreon first. But yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. And I hope you guys will hang out with me for another video. And I will see you guys in the next one.